am I really okay? You know, I saw yesterday there's a post that Citizen TV uploaded on Instagram mm. and it was saying that uh, most the Gen Z nowadays have, have found fun in listening to sad music. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know about that. We were looking at some research. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, but it didn't include that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. people love, Gen they Z love, love sad, sad, music. sad music. And you know, sad music, I don't know how soothing it can be. But uh, do you listen to sad music? <laughs> Not really, unless I'm heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't listen to sad music. <laughs> uh, but it's not, it's not wrong but to listen to sad music. Yeah. You know, sad music, I uh -huh. think people, sad music is like pop, uh, the R&Bs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's part of you know, soul. A song you know, you're listening you to and you can just hear the, le the, lyrics, with the lyrics one, one by yeah. one. You're like, okay, mm -hmm. this is me. And you start crying, you start shedding tears, you know. Yeah. Now, aside that, let's move into the social symptom of depression mm -hmm. because there are a lot of physical symptoms there are a lot of psychological symptoms let's get into the social, social symptom this is a person who avoids being in contact with friends or family or even loved ones mm -hmm. you don't want to associate yourself with your family with your friends you don't want to be around people who love you mm -hmm. or, you, or people who you love maybe you are avoiding them because you are not okay yeah. I think this is a it's a common yeah. sign, yes. a symptom yes. that uh, people associate with depression because for someone who has been used to people, yes. now you you know you're keeping to self. You're keeping to yourself, you know. Now the other the other sign, the other uh, social sign or social symptom of depression could be this is a person who is neglecting his or her hobbies and interest. You're a person who used to love cooking. Nowadays you don't cook; you order in. Mm -hmm. Hello, can I get this food? Okay. Maybe you're a person who used to love swimming. That is your hobby. You used to love these pool games. You, you know, they don't, no, you don't associate yourself in the same. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you are, you're feeling that you're not okay. Or maybe you have noticed a friend because it is very important, uh, Steph, because as much as you're talking about, we're talking about depression and overcoming depression and navigating uh, around depression, you need to understand that as much as, yes, you need to check yourself, you also need to understand that you need to be aware of your friend or mm -hmm. your loved one. Yeah. If they are not okay, please don't assume that they are okay, because uh, there are people out here who have really, they, they have a very strong personality. They don't really open up to anyone. They feel like they got it all. They feel like uh, when I talk to someone, they what value will it? You know, they will perceive me differently. This mm -hmm. is not what uh, this, this is not what uh, people know of me. Maybe people know I'm this person who is bub uh, bubbly, who talks mm -hmm. mo most of the time. But all of a sudden, uh, you 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 silent. You have noticed a friend. Don't, doesn't talk to you. This is a friend who is always isolating uh, him or herself. This is a person who does not want to meet you. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Probably you're having challenges uh, at home. You're having yeah. challenges at work. You're mm -hmm. having challenges in your family. You know, mm -hmm. you could. Uh, this is, these are some of the uh, social symptoms of depression. But you need to look out for. I think it's easy for someone to just ignore a friend, saying that ah, they don't. They're not interested in me anymore. You know. Yeah. You just brush it mm. off, but maybe that password is going through yeah, something. Yeah, and nowadays, Steph, uh, we are li living in a very sad generation Age. and country. Mm. <laughs> and even world. Not only our country, but I the can imagine world. this economic crisis you're having in Kenya is not only in Kenya. Mm. It's happening across the world. True. So I can imagine now whatever, whatever is happening uh, right now, it is sad, you know. People are really yeah. undergoing a lot. And uh, it is not easy for maybe one to talk about what they, 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 are, they are going. Maybe they have lost a job. Mm -hmm. You cannot come and tell me, you know, I've lost a job. Maybe I used to take you out most of the time. You know, I do this and that. Mm -hmm. and, but now, you see, you, you stop. cannot, you, st you stop doing that because maybe I cannot tell you I've lost my job. Maybe I cannot tell you that I'm not okay. Maybe in school, uh, I'm not going to school. I'm not attending school. And mm -hmm. you've noticed a friend Kila time ana kuambi yanga ni saini attendance. You remember while you were in campus, those friends. <laughs> I know you used to attend remember. school, right? I remember classes. them. Kwa na attend classes, eh? Wewe. Wewe. Mi mi ni kwa na attend classes. Good girl, amazing. Na jo wezi choma. You're a good girl. You're wezi choma, but anyway, you have noticed a friend maybe in campus in school. Eh? Mm. This is a person who calls you. Any other sign sign for me? Apo sita kam. Most of the time, maybe it's church. Akujangi church. Maybe we come and church. I mean, uh, uh, it's not, mm -hmm. uh, nowadays I'm in Dangi. Because now people need to understand, uh, uh, when you say you're mentally okay or your mental health is okay, mm -hmm. it's not only psychological, emotional, and social. Also mm -hmm. spiritual comes in because uh -huh. you also have spiritual issues nowadays. Most of the time, even when someone is depressed, not because they have psychological symptoms, because they have spiritual symptoms. Maybe they don't have any connection with God. Mm -hmm. Totally, they don't have any connection with, with uh, whoever they worship, you know. They feel like 
there is no meaning in the same. And nowadays you see what spiritual as spirituality or religion has been perceived yeah. you know you find that people just so believe that it's better to stay at my home pray and go. worship there than go to church so yeah. with the same they are hiding him because to mm -hmm. church so that's an mm -hmm. excuse i made to me and you feel okay maybe and i make sense justification but you know you need to you need to check up on your friend there is this song i love by this lady in uh, uh, lady libyanka people Mm -hmm. uh, this song, I've been drinking all alcohol. Ah, okay. I've been drinking more alcohol for the past five days. Did you check on me? Mm, did you check mm. on me? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I've walked in my room, eyes are red, and I don't smoke bang. Did you check on me? Mm -hmm. That part. Yeah. Because most of the time we assume. We are living in a very sad country, by the way. A country whereby uh, we listen to songs like Maisha Niyangu. Which is sad, you know. You know? A country in Yenasema, depression is kicking, Lazima Nitaki. Takiban. Oh, you see, Joey. Yeah, yeah, you So we are, we, are, we, are, we are living in a very sad country. Not only a country, but sad times. Yeah. Whereby a lot is happening, even uh, in families, you know. you know. Now, talking about uh, depression, mm -hmm. there are some of the causes that uh, maybe you're watching and you don't understand yeah, what, what is really causing. Causes and triggers. Yes. What mm -hmm. is really causing me? to get depression. What is really causing me? Maybe I've gone to the psychologist. The psychologist has assessed and told me that I'm depressed. What really Cost has it. caused that? Because maybe you cannot understand how are you depressed. Mm -hmm. You've been doing things as they were. You know, most of the time we are normally in denial. We don't want to accept that we are not okay yeah. as, as human beings. We want to assume that we have all things in control, in mm -hmm. order. But uh, you need to understand you're a human being and there are times that uh, you're broken. There are times mm -hmm. that you need, also you need to take breaks you know, mm -hmm. so what are some of the causes of depression? Uh, Steph, the common, uh, the, one yeah. of the common signs, or one of the common causes of depression, sorry, mm -hmm. is uh, you find that uh, childhood experiences, maybe your childhood was not okay. You underwent, or you, under, you, were, you, gone, you went through childhood trauma. Maybe while you were growing up, you, were, you grew up in a family where it was chaotic. Maybe mm -hmm. you were emotionally abused, yeah. sexually abused, you know. Mm -hmm. With the same, it could trigger. Eh? Another one which is common is intake of alcohol mm -hmm. and drugs. You know, there's someone who is watching and may think that when I drink alcohol, it suppresses what I'm going to go. Yeah, when I, I drink feel alcohol, better. I, I feel better. My problems. I forget my problems. And you find that when your friends come to tell you, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not okay, I'm really undergoing this and that, there's a challenge in my life, what we tell, normally tell them is, let's go take a shot. Mm -hmm. One or two, three glasses, you'll be okay. But you need to understand the moment you intake alcohol, the moment you take drugs you will be high for a moment you won't be high forever you get back to the you'll problem. get back into the same problem you will not have solved anything mm -hmm. and actually intake of alcohol and drugs uh it, it, it is a risk factor of depression maybe you're not depressed yet so it was almost yes. accelerates maybe you're not depressed but if your intake of alcohol is continuous mm -hmm. intake of drugs is continuous you are risking depression okay that could be the first uh, that could be a, co uh, a cause of depression another one is genetics Maybe your family, okay. your parents, here, your parents, uh, or maybe your great-grandparents or your grandparents had a uh, history of, the, of depression. So you can inherit that. You can inherit that. It could be genetic. That could be another mm. cause. Another one is life events, loss of job, you know, mm -hmm. loss of a relationship, any mm. type of loss. Yeah. It could really trigger uh, you getting depressed. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, death, you know, there is mm -hmm. the stages of loss and grief, there is... Denial, anger, beginning, depression, acceptance. Yeah. That could also be a trigger and a cause of depression. All right. Yes. And uh, you've spoke about uh, childhood traumas. Yes. So can childhood traumas catch up with you later in life and become a trigger for depression? Yes, it can. You know, w mm -hmm. one thing, Steph, you need to understand is that uh, most of the time our childhood traumas manifest later on uh, mm -hmm. in experiences or in things uh, mm -hmm. as adults. Most of the time we don't really get traumatized at that level. Maybe in, nowadays you find that in primary school, primary school kids, high school kids are triggered and they have childhood trauma, but normally you don't really see it at that level. But the moment you become an adult, then the moment now the trigger manifest. now, it manifests now as adults. So yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the cases, mm -hmm. some cases that we've had of children uh, committing suicide. Mm -hmm. How come? I mean, how can a child get to that point? As well, a parent, how do you 
recognize that your child is going through something. For a child to reach to that level of uh, suicidal thought or suicidal attempt, mm -hmm. it means that this child has been through a lot. This child has been through too much. You know, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's a, is it a story or it's an article or it's a real life uh, stuff I saw on my WhatsApp, one of the groups. Uh, this uh, is one of my fellow colleagues, Ali Tuma, and uh, mm -hmm. this, there was this story. Yeah? Uh, this is a girl who is in uh, class 7, around class 7, Apple. around 13 years. Apple, eh? and nowadays mm -hmm. they call it grade 7. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> it's grade seven. Dated. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, uh, uh -huh. this girl, Ali Hepa Home. Mm -hmm. Ali Hepa Home, na, akwa, ali, ali acha letter kwa wazazi, a very long letter. Sasa hiyo letter ndo ili tumwa. The letter was stipulating that, uh, you know, she has been through a lot. She has been through a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, and she doesn't know what to do. So the only thing she thought that uh, is best for her is running away from home. And it has been one week, now the parents were complaining, uh, one week mm -hmm. since she f fled from home. Now, the question was like, what, how should you handle such a case? Mm -hmm. with uh, that kind of, uh, that a sort child. of girl, you know, mm -hmm. our child. Now, I, I would imagine this is a child who has really gone through a lot, mm -hmm. emotionally, mentally, and uh, maybe you're uh, watching me and there's a high school student, a primary school pupil who is watching me right now and is really thinking of actually what I've just said, mm -hmm. running away from home. Maybe they feel like if I talk about what I'm feeling, my parents won't understand me, they will beat me. Maybe I have parents who are, uh, alcoholics or drunkards in short mm -hmm. you know maybe when i tell them when i open up, up to them they won't really understand so the only option i think is to run, run away from home or kill myself mm -hmm. let me tell you something it is that is not a solution you know okay. uh, maybe you feel maybe right now things are not okay uh, but you need to understand mm -hmm. that uh, whatever you're undergoing you need to talk to someone and i am here by the way i am here for you Mm -hmm. we c you can talk to me and tell me how you feel what has been happening and yeah. I, I, I promise you I'll guide you and I'll be with you in each and every step until you recover and for the parents mm -hmm. for the parents who are watching because I'd, I'd like to talk to the parents you know talk most of them. the time uh, mm -hmm. I'm not blaming the parents but you know some of these issues that uh, manifest to children as adults eh? uh, most of it may just come from the environment yeah. mm -hmm. the people who are around this child and you know that there are two things each and every child needs mm -hmm. since childhood love and reassurance. Being True. loved, being told you're loved, and being reassured. Even in the Bible, God tells us he loves us. Mm -hmm. He reassures us in the Bible verses that he loves us. True. You know? So that, that if, if, if a child does not get that, uh, that love and reassurance, most of the time, it really pains them. And maybe, for example, they have grown up in chaotic homes, seeing their dad physically abusing their mom. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have been sexually abused, mm -hmm. and they have not told anyone. You know, handle such clients, or, uh, whereby you find that this is a client who's an adult over 30 years who's dealing with something that happened when she or he was 15 years, you know, mm -hmm. maybe sexually abused, and really they have not gotten rid of the same, and they have maybe gotten into marriage or in a, or in a relationship, and it affects them, mm -hmm. you know, because they have not dealt with, the, with that particular issue yet. True. So I'm, I'm also speaking to someone who has not yet dealt with whatever that uh, happened to him or her, since childhood, you need to talk to someone. Find someone you can talk to. Mm -hmm. You can talk to me. You can find another prof professional to talk to about what you are, what you are really undergoing. And yeah. for the parents, please, it is very important to check on your children. Children, mm -hmm. if you're a, if you're a parent, and maybe uh, you normally don't call your child. Maybe your child is in campus, and you assume your child is okay. Maybe mm -hmm. an umpigiangi simu. You don't even uh, want to know how this child is doing. You know, mm -hmm. and this is your child at the end of the day. Maybe you are having a primary school. Uh, pupil or your child in primary or in high school at home, maybe a day scholar, and you don't check up on this particular child, and then ana shina ngako room sana sana, akulangi, ataki kuji kuji involve na whatever you guys are doing, quiet all the time, you know. Mm. You need to be very careful. You need to really check or check up on your child. Don't assume that your child is okay. Don't you know? assume. Yes. Okay. Mm. So uh, finally, overcoming depression. You we we have said about uh, speaking to a counselor, or psychologist about yes. it. Yes. What are some of the other ways to overcome depression? Now uh, I, I will group them also in three categories. You know, when you talk about overcoming depression, there is self cope. Mm -hmm. The other one is therapy. You know, and the other one is medication. Let me start from the last. Uh, mm. Medication. 
is uh, the way of uh, overcoming depression. If you get assessed, psychologists are you're assessed, given medication. You're given med you're under medication, maybe, and uh, you're you maybe you're not going to any other mental health illness, kuna medication atakupatia. And the other thing is therapy. One thing people need to understand, what was it to kulia therapy ni kama kitu wa ifai. Mm -hmm. People think therapy is for people who are psh, kuku, Cre who mm -hmm. are not okay. But, but it's uh, mentally, necessary, but it's yeah. necessary. You know that, that the, I tell my friends and I tell people even around me, there are three people you need in your life. You need a role model, you need a therapist, and you need a spiritual, uh, maybe a spiritual father, mm -hmm. or someone you look up to spiritually. Okay. You know, therapy is very important. The other one is self-cope. And how do you self-cope as a person? You have been uh, diagnosed or you have been assessed and you have been told that you are depressed, you have mm -hmm. depression, you have major depression, you have clinical depression. You know, what can you do as a person to help yourself uh, not... Uh, you know, get more of the same, you know. The first one is the, the, the one I just talked about, avoiding or cutting down intake of alcohol or drugs. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have been diagnosed, you have been assessed, and uh, you have depression. Now, maybe you have to take alcohol and drugs. Please stop. It mm -hmm. will affect. The other one, what you can do is exercise. How regularly do you exercise, Steph? <laughs> Why are you putting me on the spot? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> when, when I say exercise, I mean even walks. Okay. The, uh, with walks, I, I do. Yeah, I do walks. Every what, what day. Do you, Almost how, every how, day. How, how do you define exercise? <laughs> <laughs> in a gym. A in a gym, you find a walk. <laughs> <laughs> exercise, okay. if you can do that, then well and good. But mm. uh, if you cannot do that, then take a short walk. Okay. Maybe a 10 minute walk. It could help. The other thing is you need to stay connected with family and friends. Yeah. Stay connected with them. Okay. The other one, you need to. Try as much as possible to just do the things you used to love doing. Even if you're going to set a certain period to do them, just yeah. try do them. You okay. know, the same same way you took a break, went uh, on a break, I, mean, I don't know where you are, maybe you're on a vacation, we don't I'm know. On vacation. Yeah? <laughs> no, it's very important to set, even if you're going to yeah, take, take a break yeah, from take work, a break. from everything, yeah. just the have your thing, own time. Yes, the uh -huh. other thing you need to uh, talk to someone. You're not, you're, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You know, find someone you can trust, someone you can confide in and tell them, you know what, this is this and this is what I'm undergoing. Maybe I'm undergoing issues in my family, mm -hmm. in my relationship. I am really not okay. I need help. Stay connected okay. with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that it is okay to not be okay, but it's not okay to stay that way. You know, even though you have, you're, you're having suicidal attempts, you need to understand that uh, you can get help. You can, can get, get help. It. Yes, and also, Steph, talking mm -hmm. about depression, you know relationships can cause depression. I know, heartbreaks. It's, yeah. a, it's a type of loss. Yeah, it's I, a type I of loss. Do. You know, and mm -hmm. not only heartbreaks, but mm -hmm. you could be in the wrong type of relationship. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it could yeah, cause toxic depression. Yeah, it's a toxic relationship. And uh, probably you there all in the name of love. Mm -hmm. I love this person. I cannot leave them. I will endure through thick and thin. Eh, through thick and thin. And that <laughs> costs a lot. <laughs> yeah. Eh, for better, for worse. You know, I think nowadays the vows should be changed. Yeah, for better, for worse, uh, to love and to hold, uh, richness and rich. You know, the times. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. unaweza kuwa kwa hapo <laughs> you're wondering now, for better for us. <laughs> now, this is a toxic partner. Mm -hmm. uh, vows in the summer for better for us. Now, anani chapa, anani tukana, mm -hmm. sexually. You know, sexual abuse happens even in marriage. You know, I know. And you cannot live. Mm -hmm. You find that uh, your, your, your comfort is in the same. You mm -hmm. entrust your happiness on this person. No. You need to, there are three things you need, and mm -hmm. I need to tell you. If you're in a, you're in a very toxic relationship, uh -huh. there are three things. You need happiness. You need peace of mind. And you need good men mental stability. If you don't get the three, trust you me, you, you need trouble. to leave. You need to walk out because, honestly speaking, it won't work out. You your think it will work out, mm -hmm. your mental health will be affected. And maybe Steph, and this is something that happens, mm -hmm. and I can imagine it also affects you because it, it does affect me too. Mm -hmm. Social pressure. Social media. Society. Uku pressure, <laughs> watu wanapeana uku social media. <laughs> na kuflaunt 50 million Malo, cash. My challenges. Yeah, my challenges. Uku hapa na pale. Yeah. yeah, it, it so gives people pressure. So you need to understand mm -hmm. also that you need to really limit your time on social media. You know, okay. social media is very addictive. Mm -hmm. Sana sana, which app? Instagram, TikTok, 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 TikTok. <laughs> yes, TikTok. TikTok My is bad. very addictive. When I saw you, when I saw you TikTok videos at 7 p.m. Three but hours it's one. later. Not even three hours later. Oh. You, you're just scrolling. Scrolling. You're yeah, laughing alone. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It's true. It does. People in the background were laughing because they can, they can, they can, <laughs> they can, <laughs> they can <laughs> attest because it's true. You need to understand that eh? social media really can impact your mental mm -hmm. health. So we need to protect our spaces, yes. basically. Yes, whatever you see, whatever you view, whatever you like. Nowadays, I've noticed on social media, uh -huh. whatever you view and like, in a more of the Sana. same. Mm -hmm. Kamo mekua hatu broken, I don't know why it happens when a patananga na videos amari, za wedding. That is... <laughs> Zinakuja, pap! 
and you had Amen. broken and maybe you were married and it never worked oh. unapata na video za a, 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 a nice lady with a gown and the husband is there na uko hapo una view na ukija fungua tu hiyo video trust you me zitakuja mingi na itaku trigger. trigger so you need to understand also it is okay. it is important to take breaks on All social right. media Right. You don't have to okay. just say because you're an influencer, you do this and that, you're in the media, you're helping people. You need to also take care of yourself yes. mentally. Take social breaks. Yes. All right, I wish we could continue with this okay. conversation. Man, okay. Time may, 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 right. may share, but mm. we'll definitely have this conversation no time problem. and time again. So what is that one key thing that you want to tell someone from all this? And uh, share also your social media handle. This is your camera. All right, uh, how many minutes? Because I can talk. One. One minute. 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds, okay. Uh, if you're watching me right now, uh, and uh, maybe you're at a phase right now which is not okay, you, things are not working on your side, you've lost your job, you've lost your partner, you've lost everything, and you feel hopeless, you feel helpless, you feel like you cannot get help, you feel like people around you cannot understand you, you feel like your friends don't even get you, you feel like no one can be there for you. Let me tell you something. You feel also suicidal. Let me tell you something. There is hope. You're not alone. There are people around you who can help you. Mm -hmm. So remember also it is okay to not be okay. But it's not okay to, uh, to stay that way. So uh, talk to someone. Talk to someone you, uh, you confide in. A friend. A therapist. My number. Uh, if you're watching me and you need psychological counseling, you need psych uh, psychosocial support, my number is 0725-02-9398. I repeat, 0725-02-9398. My social media handles... On Instagram at official Anthony Njenga official, then A N T H O N Y N J E N G A official Anthony Njenga on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, Anthony Njenga. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much, Anthony, for sharing such amazing insights. I'm sure someone has taken something from it. Yes. That has been Anthony Njenga, a counselor, talking to us about overcoming depression. That's why we bring the conversation to a close. But remember, you can also share with us your thoughts on our social media handles at Y254 using the hashtag uh, Y in the morning. We're going to take a short break and then we'll be back with the next interviews. Don't go too far. It's going to be an interesting one.